Hello, thank you for joining me today. I'm Amanda Fowler of Inspire and Inkin and in today's video we're going to be heat embossing this lovely peacock uh, on a greetings card. Now today's video was inspired by one of my customers, Janet. Hi Janet! Who was telling me the other day that she was having trouble with heat embossing. So I thought I'd put together this quick card to share this with all of you and hopefully to help her too with her embossing. So what I'm going to be using today is the Perfect Peacock stamp and also the watercolour wash background stamp. And for the heat embossing, I'm going to be using Versamark ink. Now Versamark ink is absolutely one of the key things that you need if you're heat embossing. It's a really good ink, it's got glycerin in it, so it makes it really sticky. So Versamark ink, an embossing buddy. This is a, a little pouch that has a, like a talcum powder in it that really helps stop getting bits of excess embossing powder everywhere. A silicon mat to protect your work surface and gold embossing powder. Now this is this is the, the stamping up powder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of show you a bit of a close-up. All embossing powders are not created equal. You want an embossing powder that's really fine because what that what the, the fineness means is that you will get the definition from the stamps. It also seems to melt quicker and just looks better and I might be a little bit biased being a stamping up demonstrator but stamping up embossing powders are fabulous. So this time I'm actually using gold and you will need a heat gun. So let us, ooh, let's get started. I'm using thick Whisper White card which I have scored already just to make a card blank. I'm going to take this watercolour wash background stamp, which is, is brilliant. If you're not that confident doing watercolouring, this gives you the effect, but with a stamp. And I'm going to use pool party ink, and I'm just going to go all over the stamp with the ink. Now, because it's such a big stamp, and because it's pretty much covering the whole of the card, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to fold the card and I'm going to place it where I want it on the card stock, like that. And then I'm going to bring up my grid paper and then I'm just going to rub over the top. That means then I'm not getting ink all over my fingers, but I'm getting a nice even pressure. So let's lift that up. So there you can see, it's brilliant. Now, this ink will still be a tiny bit wet. So if I put embossing powder on it now, it's going to stick to the, the pool party ink. So that's one of the reasons I'm using the embossing buddy. And I'm just going to rub over the top. And what that will do is it will make sure that that ink is really dry and nothing else is going to stick to it. So here is the perfect peacock. Versamark ink all over. And then I'm going to position this over the top like so. I'll just give it a really good press down. It's quite a large stamp and it's really detailed so we want to just make sure it's got plenty of pressure. Lift it up and you you won't be able to see anything because obviously the Versamark ink is clear. Then we're going to put the powder all over the top. Doesn't matter how much powder you put on because all the excess, if I show you, all the excess will just tip off. Now, you need to give the card a really good flick, finger and, uh, finger and thumb. 
and that will get rid of all of the excess powder. Now, with the embossing buddy, you shouldn't get any little stray specks, but if you do, if you haven't got an embossing buddy, or if you do, then just get um, a, a dry paintbrush, or even you can use your finger just to dust off any tiny bits of excess powder. Now you have to put it on your silicone mat for the heating. Heat guns. When you use your heat gun, you have to remember, and I know my customers always laugh when I say this, but it's not a hairdryer, okay? These are really hot. So the ends get really hot, but they don't blow as much air as a hairdryer does. But the reason I, I explain that it's, it's not a hairdryer is because a lot of people, when they're heat embossing, they waft their heat gun all over the place. And quite often that scatters the powder and it makes it melt unevenly and all sorts of things. So what I want you to do when you're heat embossing is be a couple of inches, three inches away and hold your heat gun over the top of the area that you're melting. And you'll be able to see, because I'll put a close up on this. So as it melts, you just move the heat gun slowly over the whole area and until everything is melted. Now I'm not going to be able to talk over the heat gun so I'll keep quiet for a minute and you just watch how it how it melts and then I'll explain a bit more. Okay, so the whole image now is embossed and you'll, you'll be able to see that we've got this beautiful raised, raised effect and it's really super shiny and, and, and very lovely. Now, sometimes when you're heating your embossing, you can end up with a flat image or it looks like it's sunk into the cardstock. Now that's usually because you've overheated it. So keep an eye on it and perhaps practice on uh, some scrap pieces of paper and things just so that you are happy and confident with how you're, you're melting the powder. And actually as an experiment, what you could do is do it as much as you think you should and then do another one and overheat it and you'll actually be able to see the difference. So all I'm going to do now is put a sentiment on here. I'm just going to use the just for you. This is watercolour wings, but it's just the words that I want today. There's my clear block and some Bermuda Bay. And there we go. So that is the completed card. I hope you've enjoyed today's video on heat embossing. If you have any questions or would like more information, please leave me a comment below on YouTube or send me an email at amanda at inspiringinkin.com. I always respond to them. And if you've got some suggestions of videos you'd like me to make, I'd love to hear from you. You can find more creative inspiration and to be able to purchase any of the items that you've seen on today's video, by going to my blog, www.inspiringinkin.com. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.